That's going to be an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, is this a new one now? We're on a new one. Just say record now? Yeah. Okay. So how long is this video going to be? Uh, I don't know. As long as it is. Rick wants me to keep working. So. Well, the more you get now, the less okay. you get later. So that last hour and a half video that we're going to be uploading, we had to stop it because it's getting too long. Put some grease on it. I want to see if it fit in the hole. Here's the fit. Here's have a lot of wear right there, though. Yeah, it's from the seal. No, I think that was from the bushing. There's no bushing there. It's that breast thing right there. They all have bushings right there. Steel is what they usually have in there, but this is brass. There's no bushing on the other side, but there's one on this side. You know why? Yeah, because they wear. No, because this side is piloted by the damn bearing. By the, yeah, by the... That's supposed to stick on there, but they don't. Probably an aftermarket bearing. The original ones were taped and they stuck in there pretty good. Sounds good. Alright, so we know that's good. And I can't move the tranny too much because the goop of go away. We gotta work on these. We got a hammer, a chisel. Don't hit that. Got a three quarter around here. Appears to be a three quarter. Oh, that's right. I don't like this crappy vice. You know why? Yeah, because it's shitty. Got the wrong jaws in it. Got these stupid rough ass edges. Right. You need to take them on your flat sander back to. Is that what it is? Oh, my knees don't like that. I like your elbow stand there. Right. Where'd you get that? Yeah, you know. Hopefully I'll get it out of here tomorrow. Yeah, you got, to, you got a lot of work to do to get that far done. You gonna put that whole motor together in one day? I've done it before. Yeah, but was it done right? Yeah, I've done right. Okay. Well, I'm not I'm out of my head, you that know. That wasn't quite the uh, torque level I like. It's better than nothing. Okay, I, I hate taking those things on and off. I need a low gear fork. Low gear. There you go. It's a new one or the used one? It's a new one. Looks new to me. Okay, so all this crap has to come off. Go right back. I hate there. those. You know how many times you have to flip those son bitches around? Until you get it right. Whatever it takes. Yeah, I know. Pain there. So you put it back in the same way it came off and it helps. Look at that. This guy's got extra washers. The last guy didn't have any extra washers. They should have a lot of washers. He had none. And he couldn't use any either because the way the training was made. Really? Yeah. He didn't need any. Actually, he needed to have less than one washer. <laughs> really? And something's reproduction in that because the fact tranny should. Oh, yeah, that wasn't right. That ain't right. Okay. Okay. Rough torque. Oh, well, you got to take it off this one more time. Next. I remember what I didn't want to do. What? These are the original ones. Oh. What's that? The repop crap. Oh. I was going to see why the hell they had reproduction shit on here and not using original. Yeah, I'm a big fan of original parts. So. Well, you know the original parts work. Easily. Yeah, we're probably alright. Where's that shift work at? Shaft. I got it right here, my hand. No, the shaft. Oh, the shaft's over there. Somewhere. Right here. Yeah, the other shaft. Shift fork shaft. Shift. That's a shift fork shaft. No, that is the hand shaft. Oh, that is. Sorry, I think I earlier, didn't I? No, I think we were looking at that. Probably don't have one then. 
It might be. Oh, they had to cut it out. That's right. I forgot about that. Yep. It got cut out to get out of the training. Something must have jammed up pretty good darn good to have to cut uh -oh, that shaft was, out. Well, that's pretty tight. You like how the torque yeah, was? Yeah, that was high hard. torque. That was, that was extremely hard to do. Yeah, I gotta get a shaft, I forgot. Okay, you got the new fork? Yeah, I need to. Put it the right way. Yep, that's the way it came off. This one can go either way, and it only works one way, though. Yeah, I know. It'll go on either way, though. But it doesn't shift right when you do it the no. way it lines up. Now, this one, they got so many shims in this thing. They got almost nothing left to the lock tab to go on. That's, a stack of shims that's quite a bit of shims. Look at the stack of shims they got in this damn thing. That's uh, a lot of stinking shims. That's a lot of shim. I never had that many shims on one time. Yeah, it might not be exactly where it belongs. But we'll find out. It is reproduction, so you know, you get what you get. Yeah, well, if that ain't right, that's why the transmission blew up. The problem with this is the lock doesn't want to go. All the stinking shims in there. So we need a shaft. I don't know if I bought a shaft. Is there a shaft? I don't know if it's shafts or not. I remember. I shafted my old lady once. Let's bring your front brake. Yeah, that'll work. Let's find the shop. Might be one over here. Let's see. Fork shaft. I think that might be the winner. That looks like the right one. Did Even got the ring, the, the O ring there. You get all kinds of crap in this thing. That means it's not the right one. It takes that style. I don't like that style. The square style. I, mean, I took the round style and think they fine. But the square one will work. I don't like that one. I hate that. Early. I hate this reproduction crap that's made that way. Yeah, this doesn't have the lock tab in it. I don't like that one. That's probably why it's still sitting. I don't like it. A bunch of camera shells. Which of these? Almost out of those. Yeah. I think I got a brand new one of those. Oh, yeah. I got a bunch of trannies and parts, and I ain't got no shifting for it. Mm. There's no shafts there. Hook up. Take that back. That looks like another one of those stupid ass ones I don't like. Another Gary Bang. Oh, this one fits 76 to 84. Yeah, that has a stupid snap ring in there. Though. I don't like that style. There we go. The last one. What am I going to use on my bike now? Order some more. More than crappy light ones I don't like. Oh, well, they got some of the early ones too. Somebody does. This is collector's item here. Look at that. Nice one. Oh, geez, it's not the right one. It appears to be long. This is the right one. Maybe the left one. Could be the right one. Could be the left one. One you left off. Just put it together without no shaft. There we go. Save money. 
Just use a dowel pin. Ooh, look at that, it even fits on there. Yeah, that's a good sign. That shit ought to be dry by now. That one's a little... Poppy. That one's not as ha quite as happy. That would be some binding. Now, is it the shaft or is it this? It's gotta be that. Reproduction crafts made wrong. Yeah, I'm thinking this might be this piece here. Yeah, that will keep from shifting, right? Okay. There it was. It got, must have had a piece of crap in there. Yeah. Well, it had a lot of crap in this tranny, believe me. Who rebuilt it? Someone else. I don't know. It didn't make it very far, though. I think it was less than a thousand miles on the whole tranny. Really? It took out the whole gear set. It looked to me like the rollers quit rotating. And that usually happens when you when stuff like that gets inside the bearing. Oh, yeah. Or Loctite or dirt. And they don't clean the stuff correctly. Locks up the rollers and the rollers don't rotate. And that, yeah, tends to cause problems. So I think that's what happened to it. Uh oh, that does not fit in that hole. That is a tight, tight fit down there. Oh, it's tight. That's really tight. Yeah, I'll have an O-ring too. That's on this other side. Which side should I put in first? Well, the, the screw only goes on one side. The short one or the long one? It goes on, on the long one. No, I think the screw goes on the short one. This goes down here, I'm pretty sure. Look at that. And this one goes on the other one over here. Uh, Spaller drives them laid off. There we go. This goes through here. So you can't see when you're over there. I know. Right. Yeah, it a little bit, but you ain't got no assembly to do one either. That might be the dog over there. Wrong side or the wrong side. Hmm. Yeah, I can't see the the groove. I'm in my butt. Where's my back? I want to hit the case again. Usually I go in the least that far. Oh, there's the groove. I went too much. Comes up just a little bit from there. All right, well, that's all ready to check our end wires. So we'll wait for that for tomorrow. Do we have any rollers? Maybe we have one roller. There you go. You need to work on that, don't you? There's the other roller. Hey, I got two rollers. How about those? Look at those. I think that's undersized. I think that's undersized. That always does. Yeah, it seems looser and narrow. Okay, that is right at zero. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a tile and a half different. Really? Must have had a lot of shit goes through that transmission. It's bigger. See right there, it drops down to the low spot. Goes right to zero and then mark there. No, it's not that much different. Half a tile difference. Alright, man. That's better. It's definitely got like a lip in here in the bottom, but the bushing goes on, so it doesn't matter. You mean work on that stupid kicker cover? Yeah. Everything you get done today, you don't have to do tomorrow. Well, you want me to help you with the motor tomorrow? See, I see how this is No, I don't really need help, but I just want to, you know, you got to get it done. What? You're on it? Stay on it. This. It's not that hard to put together. Yeah, it's pretty complicated. It's already together. You got one of these. No, yeah, you got an O-ring. He had two O-rings in there. Yeah, but you got one on the outside. No. Yeah. You know, goes in that taper part. You can even put the, the square one. It's a pain in the ass to use. That goes in between the two bushes. Well, we can use the round one. The round one goes on the outside. No. Can't have it on the outside. Yeah, you can right there. You don't use the round ones. Right there, no. That's not what that's made for, though. That's made for the undercut over here. That's an undercut. That's not an overing. Can't use overings in there. They had no overing out there. If you try to put one on there. Well, there's no sense putting one on there. See how the washer sticks up way high? See, it doesn't go in there. Now, if you have a lot of in-play in your shaft, you can put one in there. But if it binds up and does what it's supposed to do, then the shift the kicker won't return, so that doesn't help. That's just an undercut. See, but they undercut these anyway. But this is made for the old ones that were all one piece. These never changed. Now these ones here are the ones that cut off when the sharp edge hits it. Alright, yeah, those are... Shears these suckers right on off of there. They go in the middle. The round ones go in the middle and they go in up pretty easy. Because it just it rolls in real nice. Now this guy had two of them stacked up in there. See, I kept one of them in case you want to double stack them. And this is a stock piece of crap, so let's see if the stock one will even fit in here. I haven't tried using one of these in a lot of years because they're such a pain in the butt. But what the hell? We got everything else is a pain in the butt tonight. Well, that's the official seal installation device. See how good of a job I did? It's almost perfect. There you push it from that way, now it's all the way in, see? Hump. Yeah, dirty. All right, now, how hard is that going to be to go in there? Not too bad. You think it's going to go in there easy? I'll just put on pushing. Yeah, it's that went way too easy. That makes you think the seal's not even doing anything, doesn't it? That's why I always put an O-ring on the outside. Take out rings on the outside. Yeah, usually works for me. Where's this go? Goes right there. Gotta get it the right way. What about the wrong way? This one is a gear, it's got the stop on it. 
So we have to rotate this around to the correct spot. See what happens when you have shift levers on there? Hey, you better stand back. You have safety shoes on. I got safety shoes on. I ride all over cross country with these shoes. Okay, now this has the notch goes up for the kicker. They're called safety tennis shoes. There tennis shoes, they're safety. So this gear goes on here, and this goes in the back corner. This is good for your sockets. That's why you have more than one. No, I've been using this one for 30 something years now. Yeah, I go through sockets like I go through the women. Yeah. They only last a couple of years and then you gotta replace them. There you go. Yeah, I'll keep using that one, I like it. Alright, so this one had to stop on it. So you gotta make sure your pin, your under, your cutaway is straight up for your kicker to work right. Not if you have a one-piece kicker. Yeah, but this has original parts on it. They only have one. Yeah, but if you have to, the aftermarket ones have notch, have a round all the way around. Do they? This is a pretty tight one because it goes on real tight on the shaft. It's pretty damn rare. You can just rattle, rattle back and forth. There's another one of these. You can have a lock tab behind here. Let's see, which one do we want? Want that one. It's crooked as hell. Look at that. Oh, it looks crooked. It is crooked. Not only does it look crooked, it is crooked. There, look, it goes on a lot easier when you do it right. You know, I could have just got the zip gun out and just pushed it on there like that. Yeah, that would have been a shaft. <laughs> I'm just going to get another one, no problem. Stock parts are everywhere. Yeah, oh, yeah. Now this is tight. I don't know if it's going to go on or not. See if it moves any more. It didn't move. It didn't move? See, that wasn't so bad. You're not done yet. No, I know. You got to bend the keeper up. You got to put the, you got to put the one on top of the lever here. Gotta you got to sure put the drain, the fill plug in. We got to make sure it rotates. Look at that. And it springs back on its own. That's important. Now he can get that thing up. The hardest part of the job. Damn thing up here. Cause usually they don't go. I 
different tools it took. Or it's locked. Kind of. Kind of half out. It's locked. Yeah, but I don't like it, so. I want to hit it some more. It's more fun if I get hitting on it. See me put this nut on here, too? Yeah. That means lock nut. No. Yep, there you go. Original part. This thing didn't come off either. It ain't coming off. Should I tighten it up real tight? Tighten it up, tighten it up. A drain plug, a fill plug. This thing here? Yeah, you need an O-ring on that. Where's the O-ring at? It's got to be right there somewhere. They don't run an O-ring. Paddle on metal, there's no O-ring. I know, but I always put an O-ring. There's no room for an O-ring. It's not undercut. Doesn't have a chamfer in the hole. I oh, want it still seals. There's no O-ring. Pick it up. That's all you do. Get on the washer, it ain't got nothing. You can put a seal in there. Got an extra seal. Yeah. Put that in there. Where's your kicker? I don't have a kicker. I got this. Yeah. It's the neutral switch though, I think, or something else. Then we use them. Doesn't have no cover that goes on here either, even though it's got a provision for it. We got foam spring. That's not stock. But it looks better. I have been here. Uh, that'd be like chrome. It's up to you. Okay. And, you. and me. What about the shifter? Can't put it in until you uh, figure out what you're going to do with that part. That stuff's probably dry enough so you can put that, that stuff on. I can put this down for five minutes without losing it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Like that. Like that. It'll <clears throat> be quick. Put the rest of it on. Where's your key at? We don't have a key. You got a key. Got a nut. Key's gone. Key disappeared. You had key left from the other one. I don't. No key. Key ran away. Yeah. yeah. That's not the right one. That's for sports. There's the right one up there. There's the right lock tab. This the clutch up key here? You want me to put that one in there? No. It doesn't fit. They give you a new one, that's pretty nice on there. Come over here, key. Help a parts bill going here. What kind of key you want to use? Just a little one. You want to use a dirty one or a clean one? Just one right here. You want to use a dirty one or a clean one? Use a dirty one. A dirty one? Dirty one's over here. Oh. These are shelf. You got shelf deposits on them. They're more original than the clean ones. All right. It's jamming in gear now. Cutting two gears. Better than three gears. They don't have three gears you can put it in. I've seen that done. Oh yeah. Look at that, it almost I've seen all kinds of stuff done. It's because it's not supposed to be done, I mean it doesn't happen. That's usually why they don't last. They're kind of self-destructing. Yes. Alright. Living here too. Ooh, 
almost this. That's what my wife said. Yep. That explains a lot. <laughs> Get it in there? Feels like it's in there, but... It don't look like it. It looks like it's at an angle. It does look like it's at an angle. It's one of those tight ones. They're all like tight. Feel them though. I don't even feel that one at all. Uh, they always going hard to me. I don't know fit real easy. It's work like this. If I can grab it in spring tension and not be able to see. Yeah, it definitely is not going in that groove. Yep, not even close. Which is probably how they're all going to be at that. Yeah. I bet you that main shaft's been replaced once. Well, it's not original. It came with the other gear set. Yeah, There you go. You didn't think I knew how to do that, did you? The next problem is the key is in the way for the lock tab. Well, I should drive it in. Now we have the correct lock tab. If you drive the key in it, Stuck some ratchet here. It doesn't work. All right. Wrong one. That isn't the right one. Takes a one inch. Make sure the ratchet engages all the way, not hanging up. If the key gets pushed through, it'll hang up. And the titty's still on there for the bearing of the Goes right there. No, that's not the hold in between those tabs. Yeah, no, this rotates. 
not supposed to hit on that tack. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to hold it there so it spins. This spins. I don't think so. I do. I bend them up. These are oil scoopers in there, aren't they? Either way, we'll figure it out later. Okay, now we got to rotate it around. I bend that tab down. I know. I wanted to rotate away from where the ball was at. Yep, that's pretty sharp. Down enough. One more time. Still works. Get around before all the goop runs out. Goop ain't going nowhere. It might. It ain't going nowhere. It's not going to go anywhere? Nope. You sure? I'm positive. Lay it on the side and I'll bet you 20 bucks it don't go nowhere. You know, I bet you it sags down overnight if it does. This stuff doesn't dry that fast. Well, it's getting there. What's next? Next. Next. Testing forks. Thread straining. But you can't do that until you get the top, top thing done. It's all being held up by one part. Where is that one part? Well, you said it somewhere. Why did you set it? I don't know what I did with it. You set it somewhere because you were going to work on it. I think I lost it. Then we work on your stuff, so we gotta move. No, we didn't work on it over here. There it is. This is the only part that's keeping us from putting a strain in. Right, you gotta bead blast that, so you gotta take that home. All right, we're gonna blast it, and then we're gonna bead on it. We're putting the press and crush it. Hopefully, it'll tighten it up, and then we're gonna braise the piss out of it and try to see if any of that brass will suck in there underneath and help. But we can't weld it from this side because it goes right up against the cover. You can only have the fillet of the height of the, the seal here. Yeah, you don't want to put the seal on there. Yeah, you got a little bit of distance here you can have it. So You could actually have a little bit of a in there, but I wouldn't. it'd be hard to turn it back down on the outside, so it'll actually work in there. But anyway, that's the hold up. So don't forget to take that home. Put it in your pocket. Not me. I'll put it right over there. We got this. We got a kicker over there. Yeah. I think it had all the studs, didn't it? Yeah, you could put it on. It had all the studs on there. No. Because I can't get the shaft out. Oh, yeah, that's right. We beat that in with a big hammer. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to have to beat it out with a punch. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to get that out. All right. That's it for tonight.